This is the Gobi Cylinder Smart Lamp, and it looks like it could be a modern replacement for the classic lava lamp we all know and love. Today, we're going to unbox, dig into the features, and give our first impressions. And at the end, we're going to decide together if we should ditch Amazon and head back to the antique store, or if modern technology reigns supreme. Now let's get right into the unboxing. I actually got this off the Gobi store. It was like 60 something dollars. There's some coupons going on for the New Year's where you can do some puzzles and you receive discounts in return. First, we got the power adapter. Then we have the head that holds the bulb. Here's the lamp pole. Oh, so this is where the magic happens, eh? And then here's the base plate. This, is, this has some weight to it. Pretty hefty. Okay, now let's put this thing together. So we got the base here. Then we have this part, which is like the pole. This is made out of metal. Feels pretty decent, not too bad. Eh, it feels good, this feels good. Feels high quality, this piece here. Screw this in all the way. Screw that in. So that's screwed in. There's an opening on the bottom where the cable can go out any side, 360 degrees. Or plugs into this power supply here. Then this part, what can you guys see right now? You guys can't see anything. Okay, yes, you guys can. Now we'll see, put this on. And then on top, there is a little plug we put into here. Gotta make sure there's a little, okay, there's a groove. Put the cable in first, that is now in. And then this part can slot right on. And now that we got it put together, let's plug it in. Now that we have the light set up back there, I'm going to go ahead in the app and then find the coolest settings and showcase those to you guys. I'm really curious to see what this light can do. And here's a light at max brightness. There's no other lights on in my room. Here's a little look around. Got my painting there. My computer setup, my work computer. There's where the filming gets done. Grass wall. There's all that. And this is all being lit up by this light here. The second scene we're looking at is called Rainbow. This is what sets this light apart from the others. You can see how vibrant the colors are with the ability to shift its position within the bulb. As we walk around, you'll notice that the effect continues 360 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna try to show this one the best I can. This one's really cool. So if you can't tell what this is, basically this is a goldfish that's swimming. You can see the tail there, there's the head, and there's the tail, and it goes around, around in circles around the light. So that's pretty cool. I like that one. Okay, and here's this mode. This mode is called Firefly. It looks pretty cool. There's these white yellow lights dancing around on the blue background. And next we're gonna take a look at the custom scene ability. On the left, you can see us drawing in a custom scene. And on the right side, you'll be able to see what the scene looks like live. Then there's the alternating green, and then the top is red with some white, so it did work. It doesn't look the best. Like this green is very light colored. The purple is not very vibrant, and the yellow isn't super vibrant. The reds look pretty good, but this other stuff doesn't look amazing. But overall, that that did draw. We did just draw on our lamp, which is pretty cool and not something we could do on other lights. Okay, now here's my favorite scene. This one I found on the custom scene. So other people make their scenes, they upload it. And this is the one I found. It's probably the closest one to a lava lamp. Nothing I could really find that really matches a lava lamp vibe. But here's this one right here. Let's just give it a little look. So there's the white the green and there's the purple that comes up. This one looks actually really sick and it looks even better in real life. This one is very nice. I'd probably, I'd probably keep this one on. Okay, so first impressions. I do not think this is a modern lava lamp. It doesn't seem to capture that same lava lamp ambiance with the clashing oils and the physics. But what I do think this is, is an eye-catching piece for your house. If you have anybody over, I can almost guarantee they'll be asking you where you bought this light. I paid $60 on the Govi app and that's the perfect price. I could see myself stretching my budget up to $100, but I wouldn't go any higher than that. Now, it's your turn. I gave my opinion, I wanna hear yours now. Let me know in the comments down below. Number one, is this a modern replacement for a lava lamp? Number two, is this worth the money? And number three, did this video help you? I'll be seeing you in the next vid. Peace.